kids, in today's class, you will learn how to use already and yet. We will start with already. Already works in affirmative sentences. As you remember, we have to use the third column of our verbs. The verbs can be irregular or regular verbs. As we can see in the example, we have I've already mailed the invitations. Already is between auxiliary and the main verb. What are the meanings of it? You finish something before now, but we don't know the exact time. Now here we have another example with a third singular person. Tom's already finished his work. Plural form, we've already taken our books. Now, in a moment, we will see how the way that jet works. Now, we will see that jet works in negative sentences and the position is at the end of the sentence. Example, he hasn't studied for the test jet. I haven't gone to the store jet. What's the meaning of this particular word? It means that you haven't done something but you plan to do it. Yeah. Now, we will see the way that JET also works in questions. That is, means that to ask if something has happened before now. In this example, we have, have to put these sodas JET. As you see, JET is at the end of the sentence. In what ways we can answer to this question? We have three ways to do it. One. No, I haven't, no, not yet, or not yet. Now we will go to practice. Now, in your notebook, you are going to draw a chart and write the corresponding adverb in the column of affirmative, negative, and interrogative. As soon as you finish this exercise, go to your workbook and solve pages 107, 109, and 116. In the case that you don't have your book, you can get into the link www.englishforeveryone.org tenses present perfect. Okay, let's see here as maybe you don't remember all the elements that we have studied previously with this topic, which is present perfect, we are going to review here some notes. And we are going to start saying that present perfect is used to talk about experiences and events which started in the past and continues up to the present. In this tense, we have learned that has important elements such as already and yet, which you have seen previously. When you listen the word perfect, it means that the auxiliary is have or has. Let's make a remembering about what's the way they work. Have is used with the pronouns I, you, we, and they. It means first singular person, second singular person, and the third plural person. Here you are going to also include you for plural pronouns. Meanwhile, has works with the three singular persons, which are he, she, and it. Another important point that you have to remember is that the verb has to be in past participle of regular or irregular verbs. I suppose that you have studied your list of verbs and you can check them that the third column of the verb is past participle, which it works with the perfect tenses. This has been a review of basic elements of perfect tenses. 
the adverb already is used in affirmative sentences and it means before now not knowing the exact time in order that you can understand them better in Spanish it means ya as we saw in the examples but here we are going to analyze this word in this case I have this sentence I have already mailed the invitations. What we have here? Have is our auxiliary for the first singular person, followed by the pronoun already, by the word already, sorry, and the verb mailed in past participle. Mailed is a regular verb, that's what we have, ed. Here we have he has already studied the verbs. Has is our auxiliary because we are using the third singular person. Then the adverb already and then our verb studied the verbs. Studied here is another regular verb. So as we can see here it is the structure that you have worked previously in the perfect tenses. Let's see another example. Now let's see this example. We have already understood the topic. Have is our auxiliary because we have a plural pronoun. Our adverb already and understood is a verb in past participle which is an irregular verb or this means that is between the auxiliary and the active verb what is the word already so we can check in all the previous exercises and all the examples already always has to be between our auxiliary and our verb the adverb noun jet is used in negative statements and means aún o todavía in Spanish. The adverb yet is placed at the end of the sentence. As you saw in the examples, let's analyze them. He hasn't studied for the test yet. Hasn't negative auxiliary, third person, verb in past participle, and at the end we write yet. I haven't gone to the store yet. Haven't is our negative auxiliary, first person, verb past participle, gone, and yet at the end of the sentence. They haven't answered the questions yet. Haven't, our auxiliary for plural pronoun, answer our verb in past participle and the word yet at the end of the sentence. Another way to use yet is in interrogative form. Form at the end of the question. Let's analyze the sentences. Have you mailed the invitations yet? We start with our auxiliary, have in this case, mail our verb in past participle and our adverb yet at the end of the question. Has he studied the verbs yet? Has is our auxiliary for a third singular person, our verb in past participle and the adverb at the end, jet. Have they understood the topic jet? Our auxiliary for the plural pronoun have, our verb in past participle and the adverb at the end of the question. 
has she bought the goods yet? Our auxiliary has for third person, our verb in past participle, and the adverb yet at the end of the question. When you answer these type of questions, you can do it in the following ways. Let's go to answer the first one. Have you mailed the invitations yet? No, I haven't, with our auxiliary. No, not yet, only with the Albert jet. Or not yet, only negation and the Albert. Let's go to answer the second question. Has she, sorry, has he studied the verse yet? No, he hasn't. No, not yet. Not yet. Third question. Have they understood the topic yet? No, they haven't with the auxiliary. No, not yet with the Albert jet, not jet, with only the Albert. Has she bought the goods jet? No, she hasn't, with the auxiliary form in negative. No, not jet, the Albert, or not jet. These ways are commonly used in oral expressions. I am sure with these review notes you will be able to do your exercises correctly. Don't forget to do the brain exercises before you start studying any subject. Remember, Gateo Cruzado three times and Ochitos three times. Also, you have to make your breathing exercises and with this you are ready to start working in your books. As we have just worked some of this, here I show you in your Amaze book the review that you can do with the present perfect with already and with yet. They are many examples and many ways that you can practice them.